hey guys welcome back to my channel age motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative shape animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin project files for this animation are available in the description so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. Let's call this comp as main animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is also 30 seconds and background color. I'm going to choose black color and simply hit OK and then hit OK and choose grid and guide option and hit on Titus F action. Then press Ctrl and again to create another composition and I'll call it as shape and hit OK. Now go to the shape options and choose rounded rectangle tool simply click on it and by holding shift I am going to create one rectangle like that press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically increase the stroke width at appropriate size you want like I am going to choose 130 right now then select the shape layer go to the rectangle one in contents go to the rectangle one go to the rectangle path one and over here you will get this option called roundness so i am going to increase this roundness like that then we will go to the stroke options and line cap i'll choose round cap like that now select this shape layer press r for rotation and rotate it on 45 degree like that yep now we will go to the add menu we will choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this end zero and create one keyframe and i'm going to create one keyframe on offset also zoom in a little bit and go to around 1.20 frames and let's make this 100 and offset i'm going to choose 180 so if you see we will get this kind of animation like that now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select this layer press p for position create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's move this over here now select this position keyframes and hit f9 again go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see this we will get this kind of stuff over here now hit ctrl k and let's call this composition as shape red and hit ok like that now i am going to select this shape layer i am going to choose gradient ramp effect in the effect and presets panel i am going to type ramp effect and simply double click on it and after applying this effect as you can see we are getting those two coordinates so i'll move this one over here and this one over here like that and instead of white i'm going to choose red color and hit ok if you want then you can adjust it at appropriate position like that so we will get this something like this if you want then you can swap these colors also like that so we will get something like this now go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 select the shape red hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move this over here so if you see we will get something like that now let's move this composition somewhere around over here like this now hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s for scaling option and let's make this minus one and let's move this one over here so as you can see we are getting this kind of shape over here now as you can see we have two thing over here as you can see we have duplicated shape red into shape no, red 2 now this is over here and this one is over here now i am going to select the shape red and this is my second layer select the shape red by holding alt i am going to move this somewhere around over here on this so it will replace with it with this one 
now go inside this shape red 2 like that hit ctrl k to open the project settings and instead of shape red 2 i am going to type blue shape blue and hit ok select this shape layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for blue color and if you see over here we are getting something like that if you want then you can choose green color also like this i think green color looks good so i'll hit ctrl k and instead of blue i'm going to type green over here like that so as you can see we are getting something like that now we have to create some what we call intersections between these two shapes which is gonna be a weird thing so now i'm going to select this shape green over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and now i'm going to change the color of this layer into green now i'm going to choose my rectangle tool or instead of that i would suggest choose pen tool to create a mask on it to select make sure that you are selecting selecting this shape green and then create one mask like that and select this shape green and move this downwards so we will get this kind of intersections now i'm going to select this shape red i am going to go inside this effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect so simply apply on it distance let's choose 30 and softness let's choose 100 so we'll get this shadow over here but as you can see we need shared uh, one shadow for this green which should be projected on this red one so for that what we'll do let's see as you guys know that we have this shape green over here if i click on this option as you can see we have created this mask type over here so now what i'll do i'll select this shape green layer i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit enter and let's call this layer as shadow like that and we will move this uh, after the shape green now we have this shape red also so i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate this red and we don't want any drop shadow for this one now select the shape red hit enter and let's call it as shadow mask and hit ok bring this at the top of the shadow select the shadow press f4 to so we can get this track mat options and choose alpha mat now after that as you can see we are still not getting anything so for now what we will do i am going to select this shadow and now go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and now i'm going to choose black color for this then go to the effect and presets panel and search for any blur effect i'm going to choose gaussian blur and if you increase the blurriness value if you see over here we are getting this kind of shadow so increase the blurriness like that and if you think that this shadow is a little bit dark so simply press t for opacity and you can decrease the opacity now you can select this shadow with the help of arrow keys you can move this shadow from here to here and now if you hit play you will get this kind of animations see as simple as that now i am going to select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c to pre it, i'll call it as animation one and i'm gonna hit ok now hit ctrl zero to open our project window now select this animation over here and hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this animation over here and hit ctrl d to duplicate it by holding alt i'll drag and drop on this animation now double click to open this animation now as you can see we have shape red and shape green over here like that so let's select this shape green right click reveal and reveal layers in source project select this shape green and hit ctrl d double click to open this comp select this and now i'm going to reduce the stroke size to 40 like that let's choose 30 yeah this looks good to me now i'm going to select the shape green by holding alt i'll drag and drop on this one so it will replace that like that now select this shape select the second one let's double click as you can see it's shape red so let's find where is shape red this is our shape red so i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it double click to open this go inside the shape red and let's make this 30 
let's go to the animation and by holding alt i'm gonna replace it with that let's close these things now this shape green as you can see this is in green color so we have already created another green so by holding alt i'm going to do replace it select the shape red this is our shape red by holding alt let's replace it select the shape green we have already created this shape green too and by holding alt we will replace it with that so as you can see this is the same uh, compositions but with the uh, different stroke size so now let's go to the main animation comp and if you see this we are getting this kind of thing over here now go to the effect and presets panel and if you want then you can search for brightness and contrast so simply double click and if you increase the brightness as you can see we are getting something like that now select this if you want then you can apply drop shadow effect on them also but i don't think it requires a lot so if you see you can move this over here and let's move this over here and let's see what we will get we will get something like this let's move this over here only so we will get this kind of shape animation now we will add our text so i'll add normal text shape animation hit ctrl a let's move this over here like that select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option like that and i think we don't need to add any text there because this is covering this whole entire animation so right click new and i'm going to create one null object you can select both of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation create one keyframe over here and if you want then you can rotate this animations like that so now uh, initial keyframe i'm going to choose 90 and go few frame forwards at this point let's make this zero so we'll get something like this now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get something like this now as you can see we have created this animation successfully now let's go inside this animation tool and let's see what we can do a little bit extra so now i'm going to open this shape green tool also i am going to open this shape red also now these are the compositions uh, with the uh, what we call stroke width is 30 i'll go to this keyframe and instead of 100 i am going to type 80 for this one and now i am not going to create any offset animation so i'll delete this so if you see properly we are getting something like this but now i am going to alt click on this top watch of offset and i am going to type time into let's say 80 so now i am gonna get this continuous animation and same thing we will follow for this shape green also hit u go over here let's make this 80 we will delete the offset keyframes alt click on the stopwatch time star 80 like that and if you want then in shape green you can type time minus 80 to get something like that if you see and go to the main animation we will get this kind of animations like this you can select this null object press s let's make initial keyframe 80 create one keyframe go to around six seconds and let's make this 100 like that hit n and boom our animation is almost ready now like this so this is how you can create this kind of shape animation inside of after effects so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next lecture So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.